when the FBI raided President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate and found classified documents, the left and the mainstream media acted like it was the end of the world. Democrats wanted him prosecuted. They wanted him thrown in jail for classified documents being there. But now that the shoe is on the other foot, that now President Biden himself has been found to mishandle classified material, found in a locker in a random office that he used over the last several years, well, now it's a little bit different story. It's been pretty funny to watch them squirm, even after President Donald Trump said, when are they going to raid Biden? When is the FBI going to raid Joe Biden? But we thought that's probably going to be the end of it. Some classified documents found in a locked closet. Okay, personally, as someone who used to deal with classified confidential secret material, uh, I've seen this happen all the time in government work. It's not the end of the world. I didn't think it was that big of a deal for Donald Trump, especially when he gets to decide what's classified and what is not. And I also don't think it's that big of a deal for Joe Biden. However, it's starting to get a little bit more serious because now we have a second batch of documents that has been found. And this time it's sitting in Joe Biden's garage, not a locked Mar-a-Lago protected estate. No, in Joe Biden's garage, second set of classified documents recovered in Biden's garage after search of two residences. A second set of classified documents discovered by aides to President Joe Biden were recovered in the garage of his Wilmington, Delaware home, the White House confirmed Thursday. The records were recovered after Biden lawyers conducted searches of the president's two Delaware estates following an initial discovery of classified records at a former Biden office in Washington, D.C. Now, keep in mind, this was all found back in November, before the midterms, yet absolute silence about it. You know, the Donald Trump Mar-a-Lago raid was all over the place. It was the end of the world. Yet now, it's a little bit different story. During the review, the lawyers discovered among personal and political papers a small number of additional, additional Obama-Biden administration records with classified markings. All but one of these documents were found in a storage space in the president's Wilmington residence garage. One document consisting of one page was discovered among stored materials in an adjacent room. And the fact is that Biden is now struggling to flail all around to explain this after he made it such a big deal about the confidential classified material that was found with Donald Trump. Now it's a little bit different story with him. Listen to this fool read or try to read this prepared statement this morning after all the press is on his ass. Classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me, uh, the, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage. Okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but anyway. Street was in a locked garage. Yes, as well as my Corvette. Well, if it was in a locked garage, well, I suppose it's fine then, right? It's fine to just keep things behind locked doors regardless of what the classification is. Now, anybody that's dealt with confidential, secret, top secret, whatever, knows there's, there's very specific stipulations for these things. A simple locked garage, say the door's locked, doesn't mean anything. But let's continue. Um, but uh, as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully and completely with the Justice Department's review. As part of that process, my lawyer... He's just reading, right? He's just reading off this statement. It's not off the cuff. He is reading, and he's still going to have problems with that. ...has reviewed other places where documents in my, uh, of, from my time as vice president were stored, and they finished the review last night. They discovered a small number of documents of classified markings and storage areas and file cabinets in my home and my, in my, my, my personal library. This was done in the case of the Biden Penn, and th this was done in the case of the Biden Penn Center. The Department of Justice was immediately, as was done, the Department of Justice was immediately uh, uh, no notified. This man can't even fucking read. He can't even read this statement that's been prepared likely by his lawyers. Right. And uh, the lawyers arranged for the Department of Justice to take possession of the document. So you're going to see, we're going to see all this unfold. I'm Thank confident. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what a piece of garbage. What a piece of garbage. Now, again, 
I, I don't think this is the end. I think that every single president in history, every single, all of these guys probably have classified confidential secret material somewhere in their houses, whether it's for their personal libraries, like whatever it may be. I said it wasn't that big of a deal when it happened to Trump, but the Democrats, Joe Biden, the mainstream media, everybody made it seem like it was the end of the world, even though the president has the ultimate classification authority for all of that stuff. Joe Biden as vice president did not have that authority. So inherently, that does make it a little bit worse. But the idea that they made such a big deal of it now, not one, but two separate instances in different places, they have found that Joe Biden has mishandled classified documents. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if a special counsel gets appointed. We'll see if the FBI raids his house somehow. I doubt it. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.